Hi, welcome to the second tutorial of event JavaScript events. And uh, uh, now what we are going to do is assign uh, our HTML elements the event handlers using JavaScript instead of writing them in HTML like we have done in our previous tutorial. So what we achieved in our last tutorial was this kind of hover effect, uh, and we are going to do the same thing using now uh, assigning our events uh, event handlers in JavaScript. So first need, uh, thing we need to do is uh, remove all the event handlers that we assigned in HTML and uh, we are going to assign them in our JavaScript and uh, that will be fairly easy also. So one thing you need to know is before you can use some uh, uh, any element of HTML you need to make sure that uh, they are loaded inside the browser before you do some stuff with them so like if I assign or try to assign our event handlers in this head part it won't uh, be very good and uh, because uh, we uh, our HTML elements uh, will not be uh, loaded uh, when we are trying to assign them so uh, to uh, assign event handlers and stuff like that you uh, can also use an onload or uh, onload event handler or you can uh, assign your event handlers and uh, do whatever you want to do in DOM uh, at the end of the body tag uh, like just before the closing body tag you need to uh, add the script tag and do some stuff with DOM you want to do if you are not going to do in a function or event handler so this function uh, this is just a definition we are not calling this function so it doesn't make a difference you can uh, write functions in the head part but when you are doing assignment or uh, the doing stuff with DOM you have to um, uh, either do the onload event of the body or just I prefer uh, writing that kind of script in the, uh, uh, in the bottom just before the closing body tag so here this means we we already have our four divs so we can assign them the first thing we need to do is get all these divs using the document dot element uh, get elements by tag name this returns all the elements with the tag name view uh, given as a uh, parameter so if I alert divs if divs dot length they should be four because we have four elements uh, div elements or HTML elements that have div as a tag name so if I refresh go to events refresh and we have four uh, popped up in our alert box so <coughs> we have the four elements that we need to assign our event handlers to now what we are going to do is make a uh, for loop for i is equal to divs dot length length is a property of array array is actually an object same is the function in uh, in javascript is an object function is an object array is an object so ob uh, objects have properties and uh, in array case we have a property named length dot length which gives you the length of the array how many indexes have been utilized the, uh, as we have just seen it gave us four we want to go to only three so we are going to minus one and we are going to go from zero uh, from three to zero downwards i minus minus and in this part we are going to assign our divs uh, the event handlers mouse over and mouse out we're going to achieve the same hover effect, but now assigning them, saying, uh, but now we are just assigning the event handlers in JavaScript. There are three ways you can do this: assign event handlers in JavaScript. Uh, two of them are not compatible with all the browsers. Uh, first one is add event listener, is th and the second one is add event handler or something like that. Uh, both of them are actually uh, supported in IE and uh, Mm, Firefox they are not compatible with both of them 
so there's classical way of doing this they've stored on click you are accessing the event handler as if it is a proper uh, as a, uh, it if it is a member of this div object and you are just going to assign the function uh, like we want to change the color we can do change color but the problem with doing this is you cannot pass arguments you are just naming the function that you want to be executed on that uh, event so now we take a help of our anonymous function feature in JavaScript this is very helpful I uh, came to know this in some website so uh, what this does is you can uh, mention the uh, parameters we want the E E actually does is E will uh, in Firefox it uh, gives you a event object like we have seen how to uh, pass event objects when you, you are writing event handlers in HTML but in JavaScript E is by default a event handler when you write E in a function uh, that means that you are uh, passing the event object in Firefox but in IE you need to write the window dot event object because IE doesn't pass the event object inside the event handler so what this does is we are saying if E is defined return that, uh, return that E in E or um, return that E and uh, ignore whatever is after it because it is or uh, and if it is undefined try to check this if it is undefined then we will get undefined too but in IE it will be defined and you will got, uh, get a valid event object so we have the event object now we can send that event object to our function and mention the color we want it to be so change color equal uh, sorry on oh sorry mouse over was the event of uh, the event handler on mouse over not on, uh, on click so on mouse over we want the color to be black and we want to also uh, pass the event object that we got right here so that will be used to get the target element save it and uh, now we want to um, that's it I think and uh, we are also going to assign our control C control V now we are going to assign our mouse out event save and we are just going to change the color to green again save and hopefully this will work let's try it out refresh and there is some error let's see if it is been alert even event handler assigned on mouse over refresh oh, oh alert signing signing assigning 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 okay it should be assigning but on this sort on mouse over okay I'm such a full divs i will be the element divs is just an array of our html elements so if i refresh this should work now inshallah okay event handler assigned okay now we are going to just remove this alert and we will have our results yeah we achieved it now actually assigning the event handlers through JavaScript so just remember you have to write E to pass the event object and uh, then do this so it will be compatible uh, and you will get a valid event object in IE also using this statement